Hey guys, welcome back to more Persona 5. And in this episode, well, the first thing we're going to be taking care of is actually heading to the Velvet Room and seeing those twins I despise so much. Because we actually need to fuse a new Persona and kind of think of it, something activated on the 5th and we haven't actually been here to see it in... God damn. Always the left cheek! Justy, would it kill you to kick the left one once in a while? Jeez. There you are, inmate! Our master admires the progress of your rehabilitation, and hence has given you use of a special ritual. It's the gallows, used to strengthen persona abilities. Any further questions regarding this ritual can be directed toward our master himself. He's apparently going to consider making even more rituals if your rehabilitation goes as planned. Work hard for it, inmate! So if you thought the uh, treatment of our personas was bad before, I mean, we just executed them. Now it can be potentially even worse. Now that Gallos execution has been unlocked. And before you do this, recommend as always, just register your personas. You don't want to miss the EXP on them, right? It doesn't have too many downsides. In the grand scheme of things, but now we can select Strengthen Persona. And uh, the first persona you select will survive, but the second one will be killed, and I find it very ironic how I'm choosing the Hanged Arcana to, well, hang. But yes, we'll be sacrificing Huan Po to increase the level of our Sen. This can be performed once a day, and if you have the money and you want to power level a Persona, go for it, and uh, I think this is kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Huan Po isn't that big. Don't know what's filling up the rest of that, but yep. Yeah. There she goes, and her excess power will be given to Arsene. That's actually why I kept Arsene around the whole time. You probably thought it was for some grandiose reason. No, I just kind of wanted him to get the level up, and now he'll become a mask again. So, Wampo, not a super high level persona, but as you continue on into the game, the more EXP on a persona, and the higher level it becomes, and you know, we get special skills, you don't get to choose those, it's just a random chance to select them if it's an inheritable skill, but yes, a very handy way to level up your persona. Not the fastest, but yeah, might as well register that since it has Sukukaja on it, but I'm also going to need some new personas. The real reason that we came here is we need to fuse a Emperor persona because we're going to start working on Yusuke's confidant. And wow, I actually have 9% of the compendium already filled. That's kind of crazy. Well, I guess I've been doing a little bit of, you know, shadow wrangling, but... Now that we have Jack Frost and Succubus, it's time to fuse the Angel. Yeah, goodbye, Arsene. I know, just kind of kind of jerks to him, man. And, ooh. My oh, man, I love this design for Angel. It's not like your stereotypical, you know, like, girl with a boy face, long hair, and a dress. It's, uh... Yeah, the Thrones dog. I don't know, and... Special attire. Alright, we're gonna get off talking about the angel anyway. Is she dead? Soon will be, I guess, and... I am angel. I shall become your mask. Now let us raise the flag of justice into the sky together. Yeah, how about no? I don't give a dumb about no just. Get out of my face, angel. I know law pleb. Anyways, since we do have a confidant with Akechi, that will go up a bit, and she'll learn... A cool skill I don't give a dump about, though. So, we're gonna combine Jack Frost with Angel to create Elagor, which is our first Emperor persona. And this is one of the more higher level personas, so it takes you a while to get and let's do that. Now, I doubt you'd get to level 16 while inside of Kamoshida's palace, so this is a fusion recipe that works. I mean, you might not have the exact persona, but you can get around it, and I shall become your mask. Let the days of war and love commence. Elagor, you're an emperor. You're not of the lover's arcana. We keep telling you, you have to fit to your... Stay in your lane, Elagor, for the last time. Anyways, he'll get a brief level. We don't give a dump about that. You simply need the matching persona of the arcana you wish to level up. And some people have said that, like, the level of the persona matters. It does not. Do not spread false information. Me level one persona, level nine nine persona. It's still going to increase the same stats because it's on the confidant. Anyways, tonight we're actually gonna go to Shinjuku because Morgana was telling us about that fortune teller and oh Fancy meeting you here, Mishima. What's up? Hey, next time tell me if it's just an interview. 
It's like an idiot getting all dressed up for that. I'm sorry, man. Now, Oya-san, she's the devil incarnate. It was horrible! <sighs> what happened, man? Just, just lay it on me. She's pretty, but super scary, too. I got blasted with endless questions. I get hit on by a drag queen. Oh, man, you've had a long night. After all that, I got yelled at. Just where did I go wrong? Seriously. Take a cold shower. Forget about it, man. Don't sweat it. I did my best to promote the Phantom Thieves. Remember that when you read a glowing article about you guys, okay? <laughs> Alright, man. Your sacrifice won't be in vain. And do you remember that horrible person I text you about? You're gonna change their heart, right? Wait, which one? You tell me like five people. I believe if anyone can do it, it's the Phantom Thieves. I'll try, bro. I mean, I make no problem. Okay, we're eventually gonna do it. But first, hello there, cheerful fortune teller. My, how are you doing this night? And it's the fortune teller everyone's talking about. Can you get your fortune read? Don't walk this away for no reason. Oh, hello. Please, take a seat. All right. If I did that literally just still, I don't just steal hearts, lady. I steal hello. seats. <laughs> hello there. It's your first time, yeah? It's not often I get young men stopping by my stand. Are we in the same age group? Anyway, my name is Chiaya Mifune. I'll be reading your fortune today. You can begin by telling me your name. I don't know. Aren't you the fortune teller? Shouldn't you already know that? If you can see the future. Mm, I suppose I could attempt to divine it if you'd like. Let's begin with your last name. Is it Yamamoto? Or maybe Mishima? Perhaps Kuris. What the heck? It may take longer than I expected. Oh my gosh. She was right. My last name is Mishima. Oh, Akira Kurisu-san. <laughs> your name is quite lucky. I get that a little- wait, no I don't. That aside, what type of consultation can I interest you in today? Uh, give me the full package, bit. wait, that sounds really wrong. Don't- don't do that! Very well, I suppose the life of a high schooler is difficult after all. Especially my life, jeez. Now then, let's start with the initial reading to test the waters of your fate. Here we go. Oh, divine power, bring forth this boy's fortune. Alright. Your first card is... Hmm, I see. As for the second... Oh. Next is... Charizard card, right? No? Crap. What the heck was that? Yes. I've seen everything. A stream of light obscuring the sun. Like an arrow tearing through the sky. Oh. Here it is. I see. There seems to be a new wealth in your future. Wait, what? That's it? That's good. Your financial fortune is looking good today. This wealth of which I will speak will come from your house. Head home without detour. And precisely 5,000 yen will be waiting you there. That's oddly specific. Uh, are you sure about that? I don't know. Sounds kind of sketchy. I only speak of what I saw. Oh, all right. Fate is absolute. Oh, <laughs> she's sure of herself. But what is this? How strange. Kurusu-san. The general flow of your future seems to indicate ruin. And an inmate? Locked away in a lonely cell? Yeah, about that. You seem to be a good person, but are you perhaps mixed up with the wrong crowd? Uh, not like that, but the only child of circumstance. Beyond that, why? It seems continuing on your current path will lead to your death? What the? That can't happen, come on. How can I avoid it? Come on, tell me. I cannot offer advice to that end. Oh, come on, lady! I don't even pay you, but... Hmm. If the divination is coming to me this clearly, the truth is simply undeniable. Although, now that I think about it, there may be a way I can attempt to counteract your destiny. I'll do anything, please. The heck is that? Is your Tamagotchi? All I need is... My special spiritual object, the Holy Stone! With its power in your control, you can avoid even the most unfortunate of futures. Probably. Uh-huh. I typically only recommend this to my more experienced customers. But your situation is too dire to ignore. You see, the stone itself is imbued with an aura of joy that will sap away all the horrible energy surrounding you. Wow, super. How much? All I need is wrap it in cloth and make sure to recharge its power in the moonlight every three days. What do you say? As for the cost, it's only 100,000 yen. 
Not bad for an item that can change your very future. Yes. Uh huh. I see what you're running here. I, I think I'm fine. What? Even though death approaches? It's coming for us all, baby. It's just a matter of time. So you really don't want so? it. What a shame. I'll be able to see the flames of youth snuffed out so soon. Well, come see me again if you change your mind. I really can't help you if you'd like. Hmm. Tempting, but I don't know. I've been around the block a couple times. No, you just... Fortune tellers aren't real, okay? And You're back. Oh, yeah. oh. I've been waiting. Oh, what I do now? Christ. Oh. Chief seems strangely happy. I wonder what's going on. Hmm. Let's get lucky. <laughs> get some girls and... How's your pocket money situated? Uh, really bad, actually. <laughs> Fine. You're hopeless. I'm not hopeless. I... It's, oh. Hello. Yeah. For real? What? Is this 5,000 yet? What the dump? I won some money from the lotto, so... I don't mind sharing my winnings. Well, thank you, that's very generous, but... Yo, how much you really win, dude? What, what's, like, the percentage? Don't worry about the details. Ah, oh, god dang it! Or what? Is the 5,000 yen not enough for you? Uh, the rest is I'll take it, I guess. Anyway, make sure you close up the shop like always. Yeah, I gotcha. Hey. So, wait, does this mean the fortune teller was right? Oh my god, we're going to die. I need that. This is really freaking scary. She even got the amount spot on. Yeah, but I don't live in a house. This is a cafe, and maybe that Chiaya lady's seriously reading the future. Wait, this is bad. Did she say you were gonna die? Come on, we need to go talk to her again and figure out what to do. Maybe I can even read my fortune compatibility with uh, on, right? Uh, never mind. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's kind of adorable, man. I remember being like a little kid like that, like, oh, no, I don't like Vanessa. Vanessa is the word I or the name I. But Vanessa is not a real person. Don't be silly. Anyways, we got some fat cash. Yeah, and we're gonna die. No, crap. I'm also gonna waste all that money just calling Kawakami. So it's like we didn't really get much of anything, but eh, oh well. Like seriously, we gotta call her. Like I think. Roughly three more times. God dang, but you know what we're doing it for our teacher. She's she has to help out her dear sick sister. Anything for my homeroom teacher. Oh snap. Time to read that book about myself. Wait, I mean my persona. The treasure room had already been emptied out. <gasps> it's actually a thing from like one of Murray Slablon's books, actually. Because in preparation for this game, I read one book, and it was hell. Because I don't like reading unless there's oh. pictures. We finished the Great Thief. Our Sen always thwarted his pursuers, leading them around by the nose. He's so cool. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty freaking great, you know. The novel tell you anything about the quick wits and tricks, you'll need to be a phantom thief. Hot diggity dang. And now we'll be knowledge level three. All right. Which is really good, because knowledge is kind of hard to get in this game. And hey, now that we're rank three, the next thing we need to do, which is pass our exams, it's gonna be a piece of keg, man. We don't gotta worry about that. And oh crap, not him again. I hate how much it rains this time of year. Man, plants gotta stink and eat. Good plants don't eat what? Speaking of rain, did you know that the Teru Teru Buzu was originally a female? I do now! According to one theory, it came from a Chinese paper doll of the girl, the Sao Ching Nyang. When it came to Japan, it looked like a monk praying for sunlight and became male. In history of the world, it's not uncommon to twist people's genders for politics or religion. Oh, so you know what the Terra Terra Bozu is? It's a little soul thing. Ain't that cute? Also, why do you always pick on me? I hate you. Who is the woman drawn as the high priestess in most tarot decks? Well, this is not a question you would receive in school because the occult is not talked about, but it's Pope Joan. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Still kind of bad. You must be quite the history buff. Joan, or Joanna, what some historians argue is the Pope of Rome. The woman couldn't be a priest. Yeah. Still can't be. They gotta. Be. It's kinda sexist. Anyway, she was a legendary figure, and some people say, some people don't. We don't know if he even really exists. Some people say she does, some people don't. All I'm saying is, she's a persona. Can't deny that. According to the legends, Joan was a cross dressing girl brought from Athens to Rome, praised throughout the city for her wisdom. She eventually was chosen by the people as Pope. However, she was discovered that she was a woman. 
She was stoned to death. That incident was regarded as taboo by the church, so... As a result, it was stricken by my history books. Yeah, it's really goddamn sad! As long as they can do the job, it doesn't matter if they're a man or a woman. Sheesh, some people... I mean, yeah, we're talking about ancient Rome. They're kind of barbarian. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So, some could say that Joan was... Okay, not really a trickster, but she was definitely, you know, a rebel in her own regard, and... Oh boy, more people watching! Can't wait! I'm watching people in Shibuya right now. Thought I'd be... get the creative juices flowing? I must say, though, I've had quite the hard time concentrating given our current situation. Anyway, are we meeting up today? I'm ready at any time. Let me know if you need anything. Alright, man, let's... Do you skate, whatever you need, broham. I got you. Okay, I'm in the underground passage. Alright, man, let's hang out. Why not? And now that we have Elegor of the Emperor Arcana, he'll level up faster. It's you. And that's just good for 100%. What are you planning on doing today? Yo, bro. What? Duplicating the cards. <laughs> what? It's like Yusuke wouldn't hang out. Why? Dude, just don't worry about the treasure. Ain't going anywhere. You are correct, so break is necessary at times. I'd like to speak with you about the painting I developed in Mementos. Do you have time? Yeah, I always got time for you, bro. Man, I don't know, Yusuke is just like, he's so unique. People are saying he was like, gonna be like another Persona character, and I'm glad he didn't end up being like that, and wait for me at the blonde, huh? Bring the painting over. Alright. How big of a painting is it, though? Are you gonna be all freaking day? The answer is yes, he was all day. And this is the completed form of my draft earlier. Uh-huh. I would like your honest opinion, if you would. Um... Well, it's definitely novel. Never seen anything like it. <laughs> Just as I had hoped. <laughs> but is that truly all you have to say about it? I'd like something more concrete. Okay, I can do that. A 400-word review should serve the per- What? I'm not doing that! Regardless, this is how I chose to interpret the idea of desire. Indeed. It is the foul charm held deep within the abyss of the heart. To be honest, I believe my ability to capture desire so elegantly is all due to our mementos foray. I have grown to understand the intricacies of the heart in a way I had once thought impossible. To tell the truth. I intended on submitting this piece to an upcoming public art exhibition. <laughs> Why didn't you? Nobody's seen the abyss of the heart in such a raw manner before. The discourse will be fascinating. More importantly, it shall be the spark that revitalizes my slumbering art career. Well, so many everyone doesn't run away from it because they're scared. But yeah, looking forward to your exhibit, man. Indeed. I expect you to accompany me for the moment. It is finally revealed to the general public. <sighs> Do I got? All right, fine. I'm sure this will be most sensational experience for those opt to undergo it. <laughs> ah, raw and brighter look into the depths of the human psyche. And I am the one who was able to bring it to life. All thanks to your assistance. I just sat there beating up shadows, man. It's no biggie. And my sincerest gratitude. <laughs> well, glad you're thankful. When you say it like that, you know, I could do it again if you needed to, but uh... Yeah, seriously, Mementos is pretty dangerous. Next time we might want to bring some back up. But anyways, now we can put on pass with goddamn Yusuke. It's taking us hundred freaking years. Now we can, and... I deeply anticipate the public reaction at the exhibition. But for now, I should be going. My apologies for disturbing you. I mean, See. took all day for you to get here and then I couldn't do anything else, but you know what? Anything for you, Yusuke. I'm just want you, I just want you to get out of the slump, dude, cause like, I don't know, man. I'm no artist, okay? I used to, I used to like actually go to art school, but like, uh, I've admitted to myself I'm not. I know, slumps suck and, hey! See the article? Wait, what article? Uh, oh, it's an interview from some kid from the school. Boy M tells rampant abuse in Kamoshida ca Wait, Mishima? That's what it said. It's supposed to be the physical punishment. God dang, Mishima, how much did you rat us out? This boy's Mishima? Yeah, it's gotta be. Could be Makoto. But she wasn't like a... Yeah, it, it's definitely Mishima. Yes, it might be him after all. Uh, man, that fan site thing's been a huge help, too. It's probably fine to leave him be. He ain't doing us any harm. Yeah, he's like our collaborator, you know? Our confidant, some would say. In the article. 
Do you think the reporter we met at Crossroads could have written it? Yes. Unless, just, I don't know, that girl we talk about, or talk to, talk about. Talk to on the newspaper. Well, they no way they'd process that. And I see the article might end up being useful for us. Hmm, I see what you're getting there, Morgana. No, I actually don't. Could you elaborate? The palace ruler sees it. His cognition of the Phantom Thieves changes. Hey, I'm missing out if we don't use this to our advantage. If we have her paint us in a positive light, public opinion of us will change for the better. But Morgana, she's not a painter. She's a writer. How's she gonna paint us in a good light? Anyway. I'm just playing dumb and no soldier. I'm not bored. I'm gonna go talk to some old lady at a bar. That sounds really bad out of context. Although I do want to watch TV first. Here's a question related to that fraud Madarame recently. Consider the following. Paying a machine. Fake money. Ordering a food without money. Okay, which of these is fraud? Well, A isn't really applicable. It'd be B because you're freaking deceiving someone, right? Ordering food when you don't have money. Fraud involves deceiving a person. That's why ordering food when you don't have money counts as fraud. You can't deceive a machine. Duh. And where's a catchy on here, dude? I like the lawyer. I liked when he was on. He's cool. The lawyer's just like a know-it-all. And so dying dash is actually fraud. Whoa, didn't know that. And yeah, you'll get your one point of freaking smarty smarts for the day. I want to go eat a pizza. I don't know what I'm saying in the middle of the video. Anyways, let's head up to Shinjuku. To uh, talk to Oya for some reason. Oh, Oya! Your favorite uh, resource for the Phantom Thieves has returned, and oh man. Now we can fast travel here, which means, yes, as you can probably imagine, it's gonna be a confidant in. Yo, here again, boy. Don't blame me if you get eaten alive, okay? Uh, I'll be fine, Lala. Appreciate your concern, though, and hey, Oya. We got Sokka, right? Hey, where's my class? Did I order a refill? How much did I drink today? What time is- Ah, who cares? Wait, I care. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> She's so drunk, she hasn't even noticed you here. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. If we have her write an article about us, we can affect the metaverse. Might be able to use her if we do it right. Should we try forming a deal with Oya? I mean... What could possibly go wrong? Keep in mind that she's drunk. I do a good job negotiating, okay? All right. I got this, coach. Hey, Lala-chan. Are you sure this isn't just water? If you're trying to rip me off, I'm going to reveal all your secrets in a feature article. Oh, it's you! Please, have a seat. So, what's up? Got anything new on the Phantom Thieves? Or maybe you're just falling in love with me, hmm? That too? So then you do have news on the Phantom Thieves? Thank God. My publisher just assigned me to be the beat reporter for the Phantom Thieves. Man, this will really help me out. Are you seriously going to use this child as a source of information? Ah, oh, don't be such a killjoy. These kids nowadays know about things we adults don't have access to. Besides, what's most important is that I now have a reliable third-party source for my stories. Whatever. So, what do you want from me this time? Information about someone? Cold hard cash? Huh? <laughs> Lucky me! My very own golden goose just appeared! Now I can take it easy. Maybe I'll take a little vacation with all my free time. As if. What do you want? Just tell me. Last time it was info on Kaneshiro, right? The office has been a buzz lately. I think it's Kaneshiro related. Something's fishy. You're a terrible liar. But I see what's going on here. Hardcore. 
hardcore Phantom Thieves fanboy. Hmm. Hey, I'm not gonna let you use this kid so you can take a vacation. A vacation? Oh, <laughs> I was just kidding. I'm conducting a private investigation during my off hours. No one at work knows about it. Don't tell me you're... Hey, how about we do this? You supply me with info on the Phantom Thieves, and I'll write articles based on what you tell me about them. You know, the Phantom Thieves who you love oh so much. Deal? I will, I will. But the quality of the articles will depend on the info you provide me. All right then, it's a deal. I can create a lot of positive PR for the Phantom Thieves, so be sure to give me some good scoops. Your reputation skyrocketed after a certain point. It's unnatural how much your actions were publicized. Did you have an inside man in the media? Someone who could manipulate information for you? What do you have to say to that? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the devil persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Don't tell anyone about this, okay? I don't want people to know that my source is a high schooler. Okay, Lala-chan! Time to celebrate our agreement! Bring out my bottle! And two glasses, please! Oh, come on, please! Whoa, her silence is golden. Fine, fine, fine. I won't make the high schooler drink. Oh. I gotta use the bathroom. Ah, oh, she's gonna be in there for a while. You should go home. All right. Poor Lalachan. She has to put up with Oya every night. Just, I, I don't have the patience for that bull crap. And what up? Hey, how's it going? What do you want to do today? Uh, hit on chicks, level up confidants. You got some time? Just check out the area around the treasure, at least. I mean, we could do that. We could also go to Squaresville, which is more interesting. You, Ryuji. Yeah, we're not meeting up today. Sorry. Uh... Wow. Well, the timing to you, I guess. Don't no, decide too late, man. Yo, yo, I understand. We gotta send the calling card. There's a process. Don't sweat it, Ryuji. I gotta get a new book. Now that we finished our scent. Actually, I could have done that like two days ago. Why the dump did I do that? I don't really know. But anyways, there isn't really too much to do today. It's kind of strange. Like, we're starting to get like, I don't really like to call them dead days. Because like, there's a worse day, right? You can just have nothing literally going on, but... It's just been a lot of spend time events this episode, not sure why. Anyways, let's get the Illusionary Popes! Because now that we got a new persona on our team, automatically a new book catches our eye. Not sure how that makes sense. But anyways, let's head to the Underground Mall. Because today, we're going to do a spend time event with On now. You could take On on a date. Not literally a date, it's just what I call when you don't go to the correct place. But we're going to hang out with her, but it's very, very important that you go for like tea. Yeah. Like you need to go to the diner today. It's really easy to mess up. So you need to pick the second option. We can hang out at the diner then. It's nice to have a chat. 
I agree on. It's always so nice listening to your problems and then hoping that the confidant levels up so I don't have to hear them anymore, but sounds like she's doing good and working hard at her modeling job. Get him, girl. Or get him, tiger. Or get him, panther. Or get him, crocodile. That's like the meanest one. Then again, she does have crocodile tears. Or is that her bitty? Yeah. I'll stick remember. I'm really, I'm drunk. I'm so sick of a few customers. Well, uh, improve your store, sir. Man, I'm so sassy today. What is going on with me? Anyways, thank you all so much for... Oh, what? Okay, um... Well, that is interesting. Kawakami, uh... Wants us... For some reason. We will be, uh, getting into that in the next episode. How about that? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this part. A lot of talking. We got our fortune told, and we also need to find some money to buy a stone. Anyways, next episode, more confidants. So see you guys then. Bye.